This is the 2020 TM300 FIES and it's the second 300 two-stroke on the market to have the fuel injection technology. And if you think it's a bike for everyone, think again. Just take a second to appreciate the craftsmanship of this bike. The attention to detail is second to none in the off-road market. If you know any other bike that comes close to this beauty, I'm all ears. This has to be the closest to an enduro factory race bike you can get out of the box. Let's start with the goodies. Nissin rear brake with XL rims all round, a Ryger based rear shock developed by TM, Brembo front brake and KYB front forks. The elephant in the room is without a doubt the alien-like headlight, but it actually grew on me. Going against the European tide, the frame is in aluminium, as in every TM. And the pièce de résistance, the fuel-injected two-stroke engine. If there is something the Pizarro factory knows how to do, is a two-stroke engine, and oh boy, isn't it something. The 294cc engine is fueled by two fuel injectors on the engine transfer ports. The air intake comes from what looks like an in-house built throttle body and it is lubricated by a Makuni oil injector. Thinking outside the box, 800 milliliters of oil are stored in the aluminium frame, accessible through a small cap near the fuel tank cap. And just take a look on how you can check the oil level. Brilliant! But enough talking, let's take this powerhouse for some special test riding. I rode the bike in stock form, the suspensions only suffered some click adjustments to suit the owner's needs and actually suited me quite well as well. I understand why top enduro riders like this kind of frame. You can point the bike exactly where you want it to and you really feel where the bike wants to go, but that comes at a cost. Through flat corners, the stiffer frame allows you to feel every single bump and little rock on the track. Anywhere else, the frame lets the front and rear suspensions do their job beautifully. They are well balanced and you don't feel any of them running short. I felt super confident right from the start about how hard I could throw the bike into braking whoops and corners, for example. Regarding the engine, the first thing I noticed was the unbelievable amount of power you get on tap. The bike never lacks power. With fuel injection, the map switch gives two well distinct personalities to the engine. The wet map makes the bike a complete tractor. The amount of torque you have in the low rev range is absolutely insane. I found myself doing several laps without even touching the clutch. With a dry map, you better know what you're doing on higher RPMs. The power seems endless. The more you want it, the more it provides. I think the best word to describe the power output of this engine would be... a handful. You can use the power of the bike, but damn, you need to know what you're doing. It almost feels like the bike just wants to go hard all the time. You have to be focused every single moment, or you can bet it will come back and bite you right in the ass. But what an amazing machine. I'm doing this review because she's three invited me to try out the bike. Overall, I think it's a race-focused bike really well built. Although I don't think everyone will be able to enjoy this bike to the fullest. Thanks again to Shishtribu and see you on the next videos.